What's up everybody, Drew here. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick template on LumaBooth in the app. Um, you know, I know past videos I've showed you guys how to make templates on Canva, then import them onto LumaBooth. But LumaBooth does have a way for, uh, for you to actually make a template in the app. And it's, 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 it's awesome. If you're in a pinch, you know, like let's just say last minute you don't have time or access to your computer, you just wanna just do it really quick. Luma Booth has that option. So I have my iPad here. Let's launch Luma Booth. Really quick, we're going to create an event just so we can start from scratch. And then here I'll just type in the event name as Hustle with Drew. Okay. And then we're going to go to launch event. Hit the tap down button up top to get to the print layout section. So here, um, this is the 4x6 template. Um, what I love about Luma Booth is you guys have there's a button right here where it says under layout preset. Then you can see all of the sizes, like the dimensions of templates you can create. You can do the four by six, like which we already have selected or to this right, you'll see where it says two by six. Um, you can also, also do that. You can delete photos like that. So instead of four photos, you can have it three. Um, but for the sake of this video and showing you guys the way that I would normally do it, I would probably use the four by six. So I'm going to go back to preset. And this one right here next to the six by six to the left is the four by six. This is the one that we, we probably offer the most because it, to me, I think it looks the better. It looks better. So that's why we use it. So again, I'm going to uh, select the number four photo. I'm going to hit delete. Okay. So to move the photos, it's as easy as getting your finger and dragging it on the iPad, or you could use underneath the selected items section. You could put in the coordinates and then it'll actually just move it exactly to where you want it but um, that could be for another video. So let's go ahead. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is maybe add some artwork, something really quick. Um, you can go on Google, you can find a PNG file. Let's just say it's a wedding ring. You find it, you download it, and you wanna upload it to the template. What you do is under the play section, it says add image. There's a button of like a little camera button. I'm gonna press that. And then these will be some of the files I already have saved. I already went through and downloaded the ring. Uh, it's a two rings right here. And then there you go. So from here, again, same thing like the photos, you can put the coordinates in, it'll send it to where you want, or you can do it how I'm doing it here is literally just by getting my fingers, oh, see, selected the wrong thing, my fingers and then maneuvering it around. And you can also rotate it if you'd like, but let's just leave it, yeah, like that in the corner. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is add some text. This is pretty much standard in any template. I don't think I've ever done an event where there wasn't some wording on the photos. Um, if there wasn't any wording, I was just uploading someone's logo, but there's something to read usually. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to place where you see on the right, put, uh, press the text button, and then it's gonna ge um, generate that text right there, your text here. So we're gonna wanna put our own in. So you select it on the top right, you can delete the text. And then let's just put YouTube. Let's just, let's just assume it's a wedding. Actually, we'll just put, um, Wedding event. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then from here, um, obviously, you may, you may not like this font. Cool thing about Luma Booth is they do have some preloaded fonts in the app. So where it says selected items under wedding event, it'll say, uh, I, I hope I'm not butchering this, Helvetica. So press that. That's the font that it's used, that's using right now. And then you look, you have access to all of these fonts and from here, let's just get something, you know, if it's a wedding, cursive is usually the best to go. So I'm gonna select that one there, press it. All right, yeah, there we go. Boom, right there, easy as that. And then um, next thing do, to do would be to change the color. And right next to the text is um, the color button. But before I press it, you see how it says pound 0087FF? That's actually the color code and each color will have its own unique code. So if you're dealing with like a bridezilla and someone that's very particular on the color, they may not like the one that is just right here. So if you press it, you can literally see it's kind of limited, but those are a lot of colors, but if they want a specific color. You can literally just get the color code, type it in just like that, and then it'll be, uh, show up. But let's just click the blue box and let's just make this red, just like that. All right. And then there we go. And then I'm going to just get my fingers, make it a little bit smaller and put it in like that. And another thing real quick before I sign off here is you see how the text where it says wedding event is over the ring. If I wanted that to be below the ring image, bottom left hand corner, 
you can actually see where it says bring forward, bring backward. I'm sorry, bring forward, send backward. I'm going to click send backward and then the, it'll basically just put that layer behind the ring. But I think it looks better above it. So that's just in case you wanted to do that. So this would basically be a template that you can, an easy template you can make in Luma Booth. And then let's say you're ready to launch your event. All your settings are good. You're happy with the way the template looks. Just go to launch event. And I'm just going to run you guys through the photo just so you can see how it looks. Excuse the hair. Then we're going to go ahead and do the, the other two poses. Just like that. And then last pose, like I'm on the phone. Cool. All right. And there you go. And we have the GIF setting on, and then you can also do the photos. Normally, I wouldn't have these settings on, but from here, I can put my number in, get the photo. But um, yeah, that's the layout. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. And if there's anything you want to see me um, make videos on about Luma Booth or just about the business in general, in the comments, make sure to let me know and I will consider it. And if enough people request the same thing, I'll make it happen. So again, guys, thank you for watching. And if you are interested in starting your own photo booth business, I will leave a link to um, my website, Photo Booth 101. You can buy iPad photo booth shells, backdrops, props, a bunch of other things um, that will be available to help you succeed in the business. So again, thank you for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take care. Lars.